Happy New Year, everyone. Um, welcome to 2021. Thought I would start off the year showing you my completed pages for the month of December. So I had um, plans um, in December to meet Jojo's Colouring Nook's um, Christmas Scavenger Hunt, which is a collection of 20 different Christmas related items. And we'll just admit right from the word go that I failed. Um, I did not meet the challenge. Um, I did try. Um, however, I thought I would have plenty of time to sit and colour on holidays and at work while I was doing, you know, winding down the school year and all of that kind of stuff. But then things happened called I bought an old car and I have been working on that. And then I started binge watching Netflix. And as we know, when we start binge watching Netflix, the world stops and um, so did my coloring. So let's get into what I did get done. Okay, let's do the, the first one. So I did a few out of um, Coloring Heaven's cute, cutesy Christmas special. So what I got done in here first up was the advent calendar. So if I wanted to, I think I could tick off most of the scavenger hunt lists um, within this, but um, we, we, we'll see at the end. I think I can. Um, I think the ones that I didn't get was, so this is my little list here. I didn't get a mug of cocoa or a warm cozy drink. So that's there. Um, I didn't get carolers. No, it's not there. So we can't, I, I can't even cheat and get it. There's no slow globe. No, so I can't cheat. I was gonna try and cheat, but that's, see, that's just showing you that you can't. So I did this all with uh, Pierre Farbens. I was working on the Joanna Basford um, freebie advent calendar as well. So I was doing that one. So the um, inky advent calendar and I did the first page and I was just using all different mediums. I wasn't taking this one seriously. And then I did not do the second page. Um, keeping up with one was enough. So I did in fact not even manage to complete the second advent calendar. But I do really like this. I like how it turned out. Um, this is, I'd only just got the Shapir Farben, so it was just learning how the pencils worked and stuff like that. Went with a bit of a vignette style around all of the different um, images. It's pretty cute. So that was that one. While we've got this book, we might as well look at the other ones that I did. I did this one here. Um, this is a Mariola Budek. This is Raffi. I did this with um, pastel pastels in the background. Okay, so some pan pastels and some soft pastels and whatever else I had. Um, polychromos for the main drawing and then some gel pen additions so there are some little things like in the little baubles and things like that that are shiny and some acrylic ink to give the appearance of snow and then I used a little bit of um, glitter glue just in the white to give a bit of iridescence to the snow and the fur so that is Hopefully it might show up on camera. I'm trying to pick it up. So that is that one I did there. And then I did this one, which was another one. However, I did um, have this printed because Mariola also made this a free image. So I printed it out mainly because this was my first attempt at using oil pastels. So I had never used oil pastels and I wanted to have a try at them. And I'm like, oh, do I want to do it within the book? And then I'm like, I shouldn't worry because it's on the back page as well. And there's enough images of it, but I did this anyway. And um, it turned out really well. I actually really enjoyed working with the oils. Um, I used, ended up finding, like tried a few different methods, trying to figure out how to get the blends and all of that right. And um, I ended up um, finding the best way for me was with a tortillion and um, some OMS and I'd lay it down and then use the tortillion with some OMS on it to um, blend it out. There is a little bit of um, Jelly Roll Stardust just in the snowflakes for a bit of shine but that is 
my cutesy Christmas. Then in Joanna's Christmas, I managed to get the uh, Nutcrackers done or the Toy Soldiers. I did have um, intentions of doing a background, but again, failure. Um, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna own this. Maybe one day, maybe next Christmas, I might um, put a background in. But I actually, I did this with Black Widows and I used a very limited um, color palette. I only had a few greens, a few reds, um, blacks and some colors for the gold. I kept it very simple and I really, really enjoyed how this turned out. This would probably be one of the favorite pages I've done. So I really like this one. Okay, what else did we do? Okay, let's have a look. I did a snowflake. So this was all done with um, glitter and metallic gel pen with a soft pastel background. Um, kept it fairly simple, this one. But sometimes simple is effective, nice and easy. And it looks pretty in the light. So that was that one from Winter Wonderland. Then in um, the Christmas coloring book, I did this one here. Um, this was done with, these, I am actually really proud of this one. Two reasons. I did this completely with a 12 pack of um, Ergosoft. So Stadler, um, Stadler Ergosoft pencils. So that's all I had with me. So I did this whole thing with that. And secondly, this got reposted by the um, artist, which is uh, Thayena McArdle. So she uh, reposted it on Instagram, which was awesome. It was, um, you know, it made my day. So that was, I, again, I'm really proud of this. For, for a 12 pack of pencils, I think, I ended up doing an okay job with it. And then again with the, just a 12 pack of um, Stadler Ergo Softs, I did this elf. These little elves on the bauble. There is um, some gel pen in here as well. So I had a packet of gel pens. So the bauble is all shimmery and shiny and the elves are done with the Ergo Soft. Okay, I um, really would like the full set of the Ergo Soft. So the 36, it comes in the full set. However, in Australia, that is $60. And that is ridiculous. You can get Prismacolors for the same price. So I'm like, no. Um, okay, what else did I do? In here, so Jade Summer Greatest Hits, I did the Gingerbread Mandala. Um, I did this, I think, with water-based markers. They are Hoo Hoo water-based brush markers and some gel pen. So you're just cute little one. Right. Also within the Jade Summer kind of family in Kauai Christmas, I did this one here, which is the angel. So we've got that. And I did this one just with alcohol markers and a little bit of gel pen. It wasn't, this wasn't anything fancy. This one here is from Hannah Lynn's um, Victoria Darlings. This was my version of Mrs. Claus. So this was done again with um, alcohol markers and polys to do some shading and a little bit of gel pen for some shimmer and shine. So that is that one. What else do we have in here while I'm doing it? This was a fail on the nativity scene. Um, this was from Coloring Bliss, Jennifer Stay. I just never finished it. So that is, I'm calling it. I'm past Christmas now. We'll see you next Christmas. All right, let's see what else have we got here. Okay, in my PDFs, did I do anything else? All of these plans, there we go. We've got this one here from Kanoka Agusa. So this was a Christmas reef. I did this with Shapir Fravens and some gel pen. So again, you can see the shimmer, sparkle, 
of the gel pens. I like adding gel pen accents. I, I Like I say in most of my videos, I'm a niffler. I like adding the little shimmery shine. I think that's it in the printed out ones. Then this one, which took up the majority of my time um, from Kirby's World Within Worlds. Um, so it, as is always the way, I tried to tick off a few hashtags with this one. So we had Dread Page December and Double Page December. Doing any Kirby page fills me with some form of dread. I love it once it's done, but the dread that goes with doing it is there, so that was from Shannon Choppenhays. And then also from Gemini Adult Coloring was um, Dragon December. So I did this one here. So here is my dragon. This was all done with Prismacolor. Um, and at the end of it, I'll try and get lifted up so you can see it. I went over the scales with some Gunsai Tambi um, metallic watercolor, as well as the um, some gold accents on the whiskers, the eyes, the claws, and so forth. So this one did take a huge amount of time. Um, it was not a quick page to do, and I color fast, and this still took me days. Um, but yeah, I really like down here, I've got my little um, lady in her kimono and I deliberately chose some um, opposing colors. So the purple to oppose the yellow and the blue to oppose or work against the orange and the red, just so she popped out as a little highlight against all of the other colors within that. So that was my big page for the month of December. And then I was thinking, like, that's not a lot of pages and I'm like, what? what was I doing? <coughs> but I also did some diamond paintings. So if you're into diamond paintings, this won't take long. I only did a couple. I did this wolf. So I finished off this wolf. So I'm just bringing it up to show you because I can't fit it all in on camera. So this is a um, 35 by 45 in true size. So a partial. So I finished that off. And I also did a quick little one. Um, so this was one I started in the last couple of weeks of school. I bought all of my kids in my class because um, they'd done so well. I bought them all a little diamond painting to work on. So I started on one with them as well. And um, I just needed to finish this off in, so it was done for the month too. So this is just a, again, a little 30 by 30 partial. So they are all of the things that I've done for, I'll leave this here so you don't look at just my hands. Um, that's all I've done for the month of December. Um, I'd like to say I'm gonna do more in January, but I honestly have given up trying to, you know, commit to getting a certain amount done. I'll just get done what I can get done. Um, I am looking forward to getting in and doing, um, as much as I love Christmas and I love, and I do, and I loved doing the Christmas drawings, I'm looking forward to getting in and doing some, some things from my other books. All right, thank you very much for listening. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good things. Ring, uh, make sure you hit the notification bell because I am starting to do some live streams. So if you want to be able to um, get notified of when they're on, um, click that little bell. And as always, remember, be kind, be strong and be a warrior. And I'll see you later. Bye.